Okay, it's uh, Greg Doucette. I'm a week out now from the New York Pro and basically uh, I just wanted to put a, an update and say that I'm the leanest I've ever been now. Things are going great. Energy's great. The diet's amazing. Um, I don't have any cravings. I don't need to eat cheat meals. I, I feel great all the time, which is surprising to be a week out and leaner, but I'm not going to complain. Um, today's installment I wanted to discuss cheat meals because it seems to be a very heated topic that a lot of people have different opinions on. My personal opinion is I don't believe in the cheat meal, especially the, uh, the true cheat which is basically you have a day, one day a week where you just eat crap all day long. You go to Pizza Delight or Burger King, McDonald's, I have zero belief in that. Um, I know a lot of trainers will say you can have one meal and you can eat whatever you want. Well, one meal you can eat 5,000 calories and then that's like two days worth of food. So it's just going to slow uh, your fat loss down. I know that eating extra calories is going to boost your metabolism, but not enough to compensate for the amount of extra calories that you're doing. So it, it's not really the best idea. I do believe in um, refueling if you're really low on energy and, and you've been dieting extra strict so say it's you've been eating 2,000 calories for four days and you're going to the gym and you have just absolutely no energy then it would make sense to add in some carbs but not pizza ice cream cookies and candies something more like oatmeal rice potatoes you know th those kind of things or maybe you're, you're missing some fats and you could add in a, a 200 gram thing of salmon with your steak or chicken so um, uh, Matt Ryan was talking to him the other day and he quoted, uh, he said, if you like what you eat, you do not need to cheat. So that is my motto and as a trainer and coach and uh, you know, I, I try to help everybody to lose weight and to get in shape and I don't have structured cheat meals every Friday. But I do listen to them and if they're weak, I ask and I find out if they have energy, like if they don't, then we tweak things and change it. The diet is extremely enjoyable. I take into account everything that they like, dislike, and I set it up so that you're not craving things all the time. Because if you are, as soon as this diet's over, you're going to become a whale after. That's the biggest problem I see with people is that they let themselves go way too out of shape in the off season. So say you're a light heavy competing at 195, say. There's no reason to be 250 in the off season. That's just pure fat. Um, you're gonna have high blood pressure, cholesterol issues. It's not good on the body. Then you're doing the yo-yo diet. And basically you're just ruining your health. I mean, there's really no reason to be more than say um, 10 or at most 15% above your, you know, your contest weight. So. If you're competing at the 195 zone, there's no way you should be over 230 ever. So, you know, that's just what I'm thinking. That's my opinion. Not everyone agrees with me. I know that it works. Other people have their cheat meals and, and it works and they still get in shape. But um, I still think that my method is the healthiest and the easiest to do. And I don't crave cheats ever because I don't have them. So until next time, um, wish me luck.